On Saturday, the 8th of July at Sun City, South Africa, two powerhouses will collide as the reigning heavyweight champion, Andrew Fransail, takes on the undefeated knockout machine, Vessel Mostert. Plus, the light heavyweight title is on the line as the electrifying champion, DRC's champion Dolce, takes on the undefeated French monster, Alain Badou. This is the countdown to EFC 61, proudly brought to you by BetExchange.com. Champion Dolce always believed he was the best light heavyweight in the EFC, and finally against Tamela Puta, he had the opportunity to prove everyone that he was right. Warring the fight, it was like I make my dream true. It was big for me. It was like that is what I worked for for a long time. There's that right hand, and the crowd erupts. Yeah, that top game is something else of champion Dolce's. Comes after him, and there it goes. Manages to get Jumelo down. I don't think I have seen that before. Champion Dolce! I'd been in EFC, that was calling me champion, but I was, I was not a champion of EFC. That's my dream was true when I heard that belt out. Now, I'm the champion here, I make it happen. Champion Doucher was the interim light heavyweight champion. He was due to face Norman Vessels to unify the title. But Vessels decided to move to middleweight to possibly face Yannick Bahati and therefore vacate his title. And at that point, Champion Doucher became the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the EFC. Norman Vessels is scared, he's scared to face me. But like I know, the two warriors can face anyone, anytime, anywhere. Like a two warriors, I'm very disappointed yeah, because that's the way we to do. I think they see a very, very difficult challenge in, in Champion. Maybe they want to see him face other opponents first to maybe get some more tape on him and find more ways to prepare for him. But other than that, I'm not sure. They have their reasons. People that run away from me. People that run away. That run, 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 run away. I even call them that still run away. If I face someone that doesn't come back to end this thing, that's key. That's why I'm proud of my chef, proud of my team. <laughs> I'm the true champion. Doucher's first title defense was supposed to be against Norman Vessel's teammate, Chad Hanekom, but Hanekom declined to fight Doucher Longambula. I'm the true champion, and I'm going to fight anyone. That's the reason. That's the reason a lot of people are scared, because I put everything, and my team put everything, put me in the mix, make me strong. But I didn't see the reason why they didn't want to face me. Anyway, they're scared to face the true champion. Everybody in the industry, they know that's key. It's not about the respect. No, I don't think so. They like to fight the easy fighter. You see, the easy fight. I'm not the easy fighter. I'm the tough guy in the industry. I'm the strong guy. Yeah, that's why that's key. After two fighters refused to fight champion Doucher, the EFC finally found an international opponent, the highly dangerous and very well-skilled Alain Bodo. Champion has goals, you know, he has dreams, and, and no one's gonna stand in the way of that. It doesn't matter who the person is, what country they're from, what rank they are, what weight division they are, you know, Champion has goals, and he's gonna run through anyone that stands in his way of that. Doucher's strength lies in his judo, but Bodo comes from France, where judo is almost a national sport. It'll be interesting to see how Bado copes with Doucha Lungambula's judo. His all-round game is, is amazing. Obviously, we, we concentrate on every aspect, you know, so wherever the fight goes, he's comfortable, he's happy. <laughs> I don't have any plan, but I know I'll beat him. I know I'll keep my bed. I know I'll defend my team. I know I, I make my fans proud. I know I'll make Africa proud. We've been focusing on the stand-up because we, we want to finish, we want a big finish. Uh, make a statement, you know. This guy that's coming in, he's undefeated, and, you know, Champ will give him his first loss, and more people are going to see what, what Champion's about and, and what he can do. Not much is actually known about the dangerous Frenchman, so it'll be interesting to see how Doucher's camp prepare for the unknown. Champ will go in there, he knows what he needs to do. It doesn't matter what, 
what his opponent's going to do. Champ goes in and he fights his fight. So he's going to control the fight. So we're not too worried about paying too much. Once he has his sights set on something, you know, nothing's going to stop him from, from getting it, you know. He's a champion. I think he's someone that was born a champion. He was born to do this. I need to keep my bed and make my fan proud, make my country proud, make Africa proud. He come to face me, he come to face the two champions. <laughs> so uh, I'm sorry for Alain, but winning is my option. Losing is not my option. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Sun City in South Africa, July 8, two giants are set to collide for the ultimate prize, the EFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Andrew One King Vessel, the Vance Express, Boston. Reigning champion Andrew Fonseil will defend his title against the undefeated monster, Vessel Mostert. Plus, the DRC Destroyer, Champion Dolce, defends his light heavyweight title against the French KO machine, Alain Badou. EFC 61, 8 July, Sun City. Tickets and broadcast information at efcworldwide.com.